guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to do a video all about saving money and these are all quick and easy tips that you can do sitting from home or even just a couple of hours a day and it's going to bring in extra cash for you so number one is probably the easiest and quickest way to make money and that is to sell your things we all have a lot of things in our households that we don't actually need or use and we just let it sit there and collect dust so the best thing is to sell it and make some money I recently found an app and it's literally a car boot sale in your pocket. I always want to go to a car boot sale and sell my things but car boot sales start really early in the morning and I just cannot wake up for dear life. I, I just cannot and um, that's why I found this app really useful because it's literally a car boot sale in your pocket. If you keep your location surfaces on then it's going to detect the area that you live in and it's going to show you all the items that are in your area and that you can just buy and collect without any hassle. There's no fees to sell your things, there's no fees to buy things, there's no fees whatsoever, unlike eBay, which I know the fees are becoming ridiculous. Like, I hardly ever go on eBay anymore because the fees are just, uh, just they're, they're silly. This app is free to download, free to use, and I think it's really easy to sell things because it takes literally 30 seconds to list your item. You don't have to fill out any long description or whatever. And um, it's really cool because it sells anything and everything. You can buy like cars, wedding dresses, makeup, beauty, skincare, shoes, um, bikes, any electricals, and it's it's literally a cabinet sale. In, in an app and I think it's a really awesome idea and it's really easy to register as well it takes literally a few minutes and all your information is safe because um, although your location services is on it never tells people where you live and it only tells people the area that you are in so it could be Manchester, Leeds, London, Kent, Surrey it just tells you the area and um, it tells you within how many km the item is and you can decide for yourself whether it's worth going to collect or whatnot and I just think it's a really cool idea because it, it becomes more personal and there's none of that fee and listing fee and then going to the post office and paying stupid amounts of postage fees and I just think it's a really cool app and I'm definitely going to be using it this summer because we have a baby on our way and we kind of need to make space for our baby so all of the things that we have a lot of it is going to get sold and yeah we're going to actually say bye to a lot of things and I think this app is going to be perfect for it. The second of all is bank accounts. There's a lot of different bank accounts on the market right now and I personally prefer Halifax. Halifax have a rewards system where if you put in a certain amount of money each month they reward you with £5 every single month. So if you think about it, in a year £5 a month that's going to be... £60, pounds, you're going to add up £60 pounds for nothing, just putting in your usual money. And it's the same on the credit card as well. If you spend over £300 pounds a month, they again give you another £5. Pounds. So technically that could earn you £10 pounds a month by doing nothing really. And they also have a cashback system. Um, there's a lot of cool shops on there and it changes every week. So it's like Argos, Waitrose. Dubert Smith's New Look and a lot of different shops that I can't think of the top of my head but if you spend a certain amount um, with your Halifax card then you always get like 10% or 5% or 15% cash back and I think that's just a really cool way to save money, make money without even knowing. So number three is loyalty cards. I have so many loyalty cards, Nando's, Boots, um, every place that I eat, if they do a loyalty card, then I take it. That will add up to three meals, and three meals equals saving money, equals making money. And I currently have like seventy pounds on my Boots Advantage card, which I've just collected over time. I didn't have to spend any extra money or anything, and that's now for me to spend I have 70 pounds from nothing um, and I think that's really awesome there's a lot of loyalty cards out there supermarkets restaurants shopping places and I think it's really important to um, take advantage of these offers and not only is it gonna save you money it's gonna make you money as well because now that I have 70 pounds on my boots card I can go and buy what I want that I would have normally paid for with my own cash so yeah it's a really awesome way of 
saving money again it's all the all these little things that you don't really notice in day-to-day -day life that helps save a lot of money number four is if you think that selling your items on an app or a website is a bit long of a process especially things like cds and D dvds and um, we normally have like more than one and it could take forever if you're just going to sell all your dvds or all your cds i know that i still have a box of old cds at my mum's house under the bed where all my spice girls and westlife cds are um, but if I was going to sell those one by one, it might take a bit of time. So the best thing is to take it to one of the shops. And there's a lot of shops these days. Um, you can see them when you're just going to your local town centre, where they're taking your CDs, DVDs, or any electrical mobile phones that are really old, or anything that's old and electrical, and um, they, they'll take in and they give you cash for whatever it's worth. And since it's sitting there anyways, and since it's going to be collecting dust, you might as well take it and even if it's like five pounds, 10 pounds, 20 pounds, it's still money and it's still gonna add up with all the other things that you sell. So last but not least is number five and it's a really obvious one, but I think that a lot of people don't realize that there's a lot of different kind of jobs to make money and that is to get a part-time job. Especially if you're in college or in, in university, you can get the whole summer off, you can get two months off and um, I think it's a really great time to get a part-time job even if it's just a couple of hours a day it's still money it's still gonna add up if you have a full-time job already then maybe get a part-time job in the evening like dog walking babysitting things like that that only takes like two hours a day or something but again it makes you money and all that extra money is gonna add up and it's gonna help buy your holiday or your shoes or that handbag that you're looking forward to. I know that the dog walkers around my area charge like 10 to 15 pounds for a one hour dog walk. Not that I've tried it before because I walk coffee myself, but I know that's what they charge. And I think, to be honest, that's pretty good money for one hour's um, worth of just dog walking. So again, there's a lot of these like little jobs that you might not realize are around, but they are and they're really easy to do and it's fun, you make money and why not? So that was my top five ways on making quick and easy money. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it helped, I hope it gave you some ideas of how to make a little bit more extra cash, um, even just by sitting at home or even just a couple of hours a day. So I hope you liked it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!